So La La Land is a transcendent love story that has incredible chemistry by Emma and Ryan. This is, I think, one of the best movies that displays chemistry out there. I don't know what you guys think, but in my opinion, this is the greatest chemistry love story. Yeah, I mean, everything in this movie, just to start off, is like top-notch, right? Like everything from the soundtrack, cinematography, production design, everything is, I'm not going to say perfect, but very, very well done. But their chemistry is just so infectious, that a word? That, it's like, That's a perfect word. It's just, you can clearly see it coming out of the movie, and it's just a joy to watch. Yeah, beautiful. I'm, like, th- there's just no way of describing it. It's so well. Maybe joy to watch isn't the right <laughs> word for it, yeah. but okay. but like, yeah. <laughs> no. But you're right because like it's so good that you connect so fast with the characters that you're just like, wow. Like I, I'm just watching like real people. They just happen mm-hmm. to be on camera. That's like that's the best way I can put it. Yeah. Because like when you get a story like this, you just kind of, uh, you don't know what to think. You're just you you try not to. The goal is always to be immersed in a film and be, you know, entrenched in in the stories between the characters, but sometimes you don't want to, and this is one of those that you just get sucked in. You're like, oh, ah, yeah. great, thanks. <laughs> yeah, but Damon Chazelle's script writing was absolutely top notch for this as well. Like, I mean, the way he basically made everything so fluid, so like it just it just feels so natural for them to speak and i mean th- that's where the chemistry comes from right i mean there's they're just so easy to speak to each other they're i mean they work together in crazy stupid love you know the, they have a little love story there too but this is like another level another level and i think it helps that damien chazelle like you know had a bit of like help with that you know with that romance story a little bit but if it wasn't even for him like just them two just staring at each other's eyes exactly like we see at the end crazy but (laughs) it's like just just that you know you can feel the chemistry bouncing off their eyes their little smiles little smirks it's it's incredible it's incredible it's um you're 100 right i was literally gonna bring that up is that it's not just dialogue it's just everything that's happening around them there are actual parts uh, i managed to watch it twice somehow don't know why you do that to yourself but yeah i don't know uh and so i man uh, the second time i watched it, i was like whoa there's actual sequences here that like there's like no dialogue at all like you're just sitting there and you're you're watching it and you're trying to process what's happening and things and it's just it's impossible really yeah. and then those last 15 20 minutes come and it's just oh all that great chemistry, all that relationship gets built up just to, nope, denied. It's just heartbreaking. I don't, ugh. But it, I think it, I think there's a beauty to it too, though. There is, of course, of course. It's, it's I mean, like, you, you see this love story, basically, like, this is chemistry that just was, you would think, unbreakable almost, right? And then yeah. all of a sudden, it's broken by their own passion, right? Yeah. And it's just, it's, it's, it's... I think the perfect love story because it's so natural as to what would happen in real life. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like people are just so driven by their own passions and everything that they want that they, they, you know, they be bonded over the passion that they had for their own dreams. And then that's what separated them in the end too. But the way that they were like depicting that is just, I just can't, (laughs) it just, it just looks, it's so good that you just, you, you can't help but like cry or like sob up or like get all up in your feels, you know? And there's like, there's not very movies that can do that, you know, and um, there's, there's only quite a few out there that can really make you feel like that. Like, like, like you want to be in there and tell them like, hey, like, like stop what you're it's doing. Okay. Like, you know, Everything it's okay. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll bring up some of those movies. I mean, the one, the most recent one that comes to mind is Past Lives. I mean, it's, I'm almost an identical, like, story-wise, just slightly different, you know, scenarios. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it leaves you with that lingering, like, oh, damn, what just happened? Uh, and, you know, you, you don't necessarily, like, feel like these two people should end up together. And there's a very mature and, like, responsible way of, of it happening and the way that it ended, right? And so the chemistry in past lives is extremely good. And it's the same same feeling that you get. And they're so good on screen. You just, like, you're not necessarily rooting for them, but you just feel this connection between two human beings. Yeah. I don't know. That honestly, yeah, other than past lives, I can't think of a movie, like, a recent movie that has the same effect as these two on screen together. It would probably go to... Honestly, I really liked everything everywhere all at once. I think would be up there. The Michelle Yeoh and uh, Kiki Kwan, their chemistry together was also very, very good. And in a way, kind of similar to the story. You know, like they're not together in every universe and all that. So like their chemistry 
is maybe up there, but Ryan and Emma just take the cake. They're way beyond everyone else. Yeah, I agree. They take the cake. It's, they're incredible. But I think a close second, in my opinion, is Before Sunrise. I don't know if you guys have seen oh, it. Oh, of course. Yeah, with yeah. Ethan Hawke and Julie Delpy. They were just, I mean, the whole movie is just them talking yeah. the whole time. And it's just incredible dialogue. But La La Land's definitely, you just feel so connected with them based on, I guess, maybe the dialogue, the whole story. But Before Sunrise was incredibly well done as well mm -hmm. with an amazing, you know, chemistry that you could feel it. I also have Pride and Prejudice and Titanic. Like, those are, like, love stories where you feel the chemistry bouncing off the screen. And, like, you're just, like, sitting on your couch just eating popcorn. Whether you're alone or with someone, you're just like, okay, well, now I want someone, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. But, yeah, it's like La La Land was just in a different way. It's just a different level that, like, any other movie that I think I've seen just, like, impacted me. And I, I don't know. I think maybe just, that, like, I feel a strong connection to the movie. It's just, like, it's such a beautiful love story. But it's just, uh, yeah, it's just it's just incredible and the way that they also have like a great relationship off screen like they've often been seen together just walking around having lunch and in interviews are always talking about how much they love one another and appreciate each other's work so having a good relationship off screen definitely translates on screen and i mean clear example right here yeah and is there another relationship off screen I that mean, is uh emma stone andrew garfield obviously met in uh, amazing spider-man one Dated for four years, so they actually dated, not like Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling. And then, I mean, eventually split up, but they still talk about each other in the same way, how much they love one another. So Emma Stone, I'm going to say definitely took inspiration from her relationship with Andrew Garfield to film this because they broke up a year before this came out. So it was like, and it's literally the same scenario, right person, wrong time definitely very tragic but. yeah because i heard the, the reason that they split up like uh andrew garfield and emma stone was because they were just filming so much they were both yeah. following their passion just so much that they just had to break it off constant on different points of the planet and it's like it's so hard to make it work but yeah life gets in the way sometimes yeah it's just uh it's just an it's life imitates art yeah. right yeah so yeah 100 mm -hmm. um if you guys haven't checked out the uh our emma stone conversation about her oscar win this year for poor things um you know comparing the two roles is not fair because they're very very different stories but there is definitely like a real connection like you said will uh taking real life experiences and you can tell on screen and she won for this as well for la la land so obviously i mean it's a phenomenal ex um, performance and she always does good work the other thing I wanted to mention is we're talking about the entire story. Now, I don't want to dive into um, the music, but it's a huge factor to the way that we feel for the characters. Uh, maybe we'll make a separate episode about it. But I just wanted to bring that up because that's a huge contributing factor. And that leads me into my other thing is it's not easy to do this. And there are a lot of examples out there that just fail flat. I mean, even your rom-coms these days that are just like, uh, just terrible because at the end of the day it's all like make-believe scenarios that are not realistic whatsoever as much as we may want to indulge in those and believe that these fantasy you know meet cutes and all that are, are real you know some crazy version of that might happen but in reality a lot of it's just like hi how are you doing oh, okay cool and then it just sort of goes from there right so it, it's it's you know it seems boring but that's that's the reality and it's not boring in a lot of ways right not at all. Um, and yeah, so like for me, the movies that came up when I was thinking of other movies that tried to do this, I couldn't come up with really great examples except for past lives. And you guys mentioned a few, but the ones that came up when I was like, these are terrible are, uh, well, the most recent <laughs> one that I unfortunately had to sit through, um, was, anyone but you that is just a terrible terrible movie uh on all fronts and it has like no redeeming qualities uh <laughs> i just pissed off a lot of people maybe uh it, it's just like two hot people on screen yeah. it's really bad which is what uh, most rom-coms are nowadays yeah just get an attractive actor attractive actress have fun it's like okay pretty much i guess uh, yeah my issue with that is like you go from like you either indulge the fact that you're doing something ridiculous or you try to make it seem realistic or or like you know a real story or a real connection between these characters when in reality you know you're not you don't go into anyone but you going this is going to be so <laughs> good like like there are fun aspects of it no doubt um you know but just that and then like you know the other one that i watched and i've mentioned it on the podcast before but ghosted is another one that is just like 
so terrible. But like the good thing is, that as humans, uh, as people watch and evolve and, and see movies more and more, we can tell these things immediately. Mm-hmm. Now you look at screen, you look at the the way someone acts and the way the chemistry is working, you go, that is horrible, you know. And then you watch La La Land and you watch Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling, you're just like. Yep, that's how it's done. You don't even think about it, really, in, in, no. in all aspects. And in the way they meet in the movie as well is just so natural. It's not just, like, two attractive people who are like, hey, you're hot. It's like, no, they start off by just, like, teasing one another and, like, not hating each other. But, you know, she's like, oh, he flipped me off in traffic. He ignored me at the, at the, blue, at the, at the, the restaurant. Yeah, I'm going to tell him to play the worst song imaginable. You know, it's like, it's not, it doesn't start off as a love story. But then they get to bond together, and that's what makes it so so beautiful in the end. Definitely, it's like they, like I mentioned earlier, they bond over their passions, yeah. right? Yeah. But they they, there's no initial connection. That's what makes it so real. Yeah, right. It's like there's nothing perfect about relationships, yeah. and this shows it beautifully. Yeah. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, the the thing about La La Land is that it's like you said, it's it's a relationship between the two of them, but it's you know at face value, it's just a, a it's not relationships in general, but it's just human connection in general and how we all seek it in, in any facet. So with friends, family, and everything like that. So you can see this scenario occurring with anybody mm-hmm. and it's just the reality of life and that's what i like about this movie unlike you know your <laughs> older <laughs> rom-coms or like the ones that are recent they're just they're just a kind of a slap in the face to the whole human too experience cheesy. too cheesy yeah that's it it's way right. to keep it real like this it, it, there's, there's a clear like distinction between the two and this is just miles above not even close I mean, outside the fact that it's a musical and everybody's, you know, in traffic and dancing, but yeah. <laughs> Common but uh, like, LA experience. No. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we covered the chemistry portion. We're definitely going to make some extra episodes here this week for you guys uh, about other topics. There's so much to cover on this. Like, uh, I should have won Best Picture, but anyways. Uh, Oops. <laughs> it, did, it did win Best Picture. What are you guys talking about? For like 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Actually pretty long. I think they actually went through a couple of speeches before they realized. Yeah. Oh, man. And Jimmy Kimmel still has a job. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we'll uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, we appreciate everybody's support on the recent videos. And, again, if, if it's even something positive or negative you want to say about uh, our opinion or the opinion of whatever will m- – doesn't matter um please share it we're always open just be respectful to each other we're all human beings on our crazy crazy journeys uh just not as crazy as la la land (laughs) (laughs) at least i hope not (laughs) all right uh we'll see you guys in the next episode